Hi, I'm Jay Thomas and welcome to Hot Rod Hangout. We're back again this week on Faithful Avenue with Rod himself here. And I had to take a little break. I was on, on some holidays, went to the mountains. I had to do a lot of homework to figure out which cars we have and don't have anymore. <laughs> there are a ton of vehicles that have gone through here since we did our last video just two weeks ago. How many have gone through? Well, my last count here I think was 27, I think I missed one. So 27, 28 cars. 28 cars have changed in here. This is crazy. And we only have seven to show you today. The rest of them are kind of scattered about. We'll do them next week. Well, who knows what we'll have next week. So we've got seven today. <laughs> we'll talk about them anyways. Yeah. So we got a whole bunch to show you today. We're going to start with some of the coolest new stuff here at Rod's Hot Rods, the Faithful Avenue. If you see something that you like while we're talking, go to rodshotrods.ca. You're going to find all the details. Okay, we're going to start right here beside us. We did talk about this. There's a 32 behind you, right? Yeah. This amazing thing. They're going to have, what, four 32s all together? We're trying to corner the market on 32s. <laughs> <laughs> just by accident, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we'll have four as of, well, there's one more coming. I'm not sure, a week or two, but we'll have four. Exactly. Maybe at the same time. We're going to look at another one right now, in fact, yeah. right? Missing a little bit more body work than the black one. Look at this. Holy smoke. So it's a 32 Ford. 32 Ford, Roadster. Uh, the roof is in the back. We can show that when we walk through later. Look at that. Yeah. Nice build, TCI chassis, independent front suspension. Which is not on all of these, right? Oh, no, usually these have a dropped axle, so yep. this will drive phenomenal. Quite a bit nicer, yep. Tri-power, little old school. That's cool. Runs really well. SoCal laid back windshield. Yes, because that's not typical of this thing, yeah. Very cool, very nice cool. Nice leather interior. Yeah, it's really well done, and it's really soft, like that, oh man, yeah. Yeah, like the cue ball shifter <laughs> or the eight ball shifter. That's great. It's got little newer wheels on it, like the newer, um, it's not your typical, like we'll see on, on the other 32 in the back, it's a little more old school where this is uh, a little more mixed with a little modern. That's right. But and it's a really the well done. Four wheel disc brakes. Um, finished so nice in the trunk even. This is, this is all power too, so it's a it opens Oh, up really? Power. Yeah. Cool. And Very the cool. rear end, if you can look at the suspension quick. It's Whoa. Got a, it's got a winter's quick change. It's pretty cool. Amazing. Pretty whizzy down there. Amazing. So this is, yeah, wow. And then the, the top matches the interior, so it's like a, a blue. Oh, really? Okay. It's like a bluey, bluey purple. It looks more purple in the pictures, but it is kind of bluey. That's right. Very, very nice. This is cool. It's even got some bugs back in the back of the radiator, so you yeah. know it's done some some driving. So that's awesome. Got some driving time. One wow. that you're gonna open the door to is one that I've wanted for years. I know I'm an old man, it's fine, but these are actually a very controversial car because they had such when they first came out, everyone was really kind of excited about them. Yep. They didn't do as well as they thought they were gonna do. Nope. Still a cool car, nevertheless. Based on a Lincoln chassis, which really is based on a Jaguar chassis. As it goes. As it goes. There's more to it. Ta-da! Thunderbird! 2002 Thunderbird. I gotta get through the door here. It's even got the, the wide whites on it. It does. Look at that. Nice chrome wheels. So is this an, uh, a Canadian one or an American it's one? It's an American car. It's an American one. Okay. Yes. These, I I don't know, maybe correct me if I'm wrong, didn't they come, couldn't you get a manual transmission with these? I don't know. This is an automatic. I'm not sure. But I think you could. I think it was a possibility. Still, I I love them. I think they're fantastic. They're, they're a good looking car. I they're, love the porthole window. Fun to drive. I think the, one, the one part of these, they have, the top just comes off, right? Where they kind of made this car to try and go up against the Corvette. Kind of, and, this, and then, but the Corvette's top is so much better to go in and out. You have yeah. to have a cart for the top here, and it's... Well, and there is there is a soft top inside underneath as it well. It doesn't look as good as the hard top. No, though, it doesn't. So. It doesn't. But you got to have a place to put that hard top, that's mm -hmm. for sure. But it's a good-looking car, and I still like them. Man, very cool. What, it's a V8 too, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Smaller V8. Still but, V8. Oh, yeah. We were standing right in front of our next one. Kind of a long, no, I'll make it a short story. We owned this car last year. 
This is one of the first cars that we had when we opened last year. A local builder built this by Pike Lake. Very nice build. Um, and we got it back. We just got it back today on trade. Wow. It's very nice. This is a, an actual handyman wagon, but it's, um, it's got a nine inch in it. It's got mini tubs, four wheel disc brakes. It's well, and you just can't beat the face of a 57. It's just a nice, nice, you know, car. I mean, that's just, and, and handyman was the entry level wagon, yep. right? That was the worker man special. This is, this has had Chrome added to it. Right. right? Um, it would have been, been actually custom. more plain than this. All this Chrome is all brand new. Like the chroming bill would have been atrocious on this car. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Just nice and tidy. That's yep. That's definitely updated. You know, it's not <laughs> not an old powertrain in there. 350. Power um, brakes, that's nice. Power brakes. Just like you said, disc, right? Yep. That's a, there's, a, there's a Willwood brake. No power steering, that be, might be one upgrade. Oh my God, look at the glitter wheel. That's fantastic. It's even a green glitter wheel to match the, very cool. Yeah, I love, car. I love these wagons. I think it's so cool how they still got the fins off of the sedan. You know, I mean, I know it's a different body, but yeah. it still matches up and, you know, with the wagon. And the color is just bang on. Fantastic. Yeah, it's kind of a pearly cream yeah, it's pearl on, the, white on, on the top, top you know. It's a very nice paints in phenomenal shape. Beautiful car. Oh, I just twinged a, a curb feeler. <laughs> you know how many people walk in here? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> if I have to explain. <laughs> get out. <laughs> or get older. <laughs> One of those two things. Okay, so that's what, three? Three, okay. We got a whole bunch more to go. Let's go with uh, more of a... Can you say budget minded or just a, a nice driver, not, yeah. not a show car over the top, but nice. Here we go. So I know when you walked in, you're like, oh, it's, it's okay, it's just a car. It's okay, yeah, sure. Until you know what it is, but. Until you know what it is, until we look under the hood. So, so 76 Nova SS, so this is a real SS this car. This is a real SS. And it was, it was, I'm gonna say, a four speed, so it's a factory four speed car. The pedals are still in the trunk, you can go back to that if you want to. Right. The reason why it doesn't have a four speed anymore is going to be under, relevant when we see it. When you see it under the hood, right. But you know, it's in, it's in fair shape inside. The seats have been redone nicely. Good condition. Newer stereo in it, right? Yep. So the paint is a driver quality. Black on black, which is, you know. It was a very nice body to, to start with. There wasn't, there's not new quarters or nothing on it. It's no, it's, it's a much a very original car, yep. which is cool to see because it doesn't happen a lot with this year of Area, car. Yeah. Here's what makes it so special. So this is an actual um, car, all aluminum block, LS1, 4L60. Holy. Rear end's been done, the new drive shaft. Like all the drive line, that's where all the money was spent on this car, was on the drive line. Yes. So this car made it uh, over five hours uh, when it was dropped off here on Saturday, I believe. And uh, they said it got about 25 miles to go. Wow. Wow. So if you want a daily driver that'll smoke most normal cars on the road, this thing's fast. <laughs> well, I was going to say, what do, you, what do you think that was made for horsepower? I don't know, actually. It's hard to, I'm not sure what the, this is, I think out of an O2 vet. Okay. So that would have, would have been. What, in the 400 and something rather range at that point? Right around the 400. Yeah, right, right around there. there, right? But way but more still, than what the car would have had. So. Well, and this is a small car. Yeah. You know, considering, and they're fairly light, so stuff 400 horsepower into a Nova and you're looking at some fun, right? So that's pretty cool. And uh, reliability and just as a daily driver. Well, that's Thanks. right. Yeah, this is like, this is modern powertrain and, and everything else. So this is just, this is old old school car looks and you know, with, with something that you could probably get into this, like they did, yeah. just drive to Vancouver. But you most LS swaps guys use like the truck blocks and you could tell that as soon as you pop that. Right, so. this is not the case. No. Not at all. Very cool. If you were to add the nice Corvette covers on it, it would look pretty good, which one of the next cars we're gonna see has that. Exactly. So, yeah. Awesome. There Very nice go. car and, and priced at something that you could afford to have some fun with too, exactly. right? Yeah. There are, there's something kind of for everybody in this showroom. There's, 
stuff that is crazy builds that are amazing. Yeah. And there's some fun stuff like this that, you know, the average guy can have some fun with still and go to cars and coffee with. Exactly. Right? Lots of fun like that. You can jump out on the highway and have some fun with it. Okay, where are we going next? You direct me. Oh God, let's see that one to last. Go okay. over here. All right. Which way are you walking? We'll go over the far. All right. Okay, so look at this. This is a brand new build. And when I say we've only got maybe about five or 10 kilometers on it so far, um, we have to go through, we have to get some test miles on it, but it is a brand new car. So what is it? It's a, sorry, uh, it's a 37 Ford Cabriolet. This is on a co this is a coast to coast body. Okay, so. Um, Wow, I love this. I love the fact that these tail lights are laid right in. They're actually clear coated over. You don't even feel them. That's amazing. So this is on uh, air ride. It's air conditioning, like all the all the amenities that you need. This top is cool. I'm not gonna just, I'm not gonna do it right now, but um, we'll have pictures of it online of how it all works, but. This top works like a newer Corvette. So okay. this will flip up. Yep. Then the top will come out. Yep. And latch onto here. You lift the top this way. Then you reclose this and the top goes back down and sits on top here. Wow. And then it actually has windows, side glass. So this is not a fair weather car. This is a real. And there's suicide doors. Yep. And there's suicide. Yep. Wow. Wow. So, and it was, so originally this was a cabriolet then. Well, this is this is the uh, part of the coast to coast okay. kit. Yeah. So, um, holy smoke! But it's, it's how how it functions is just works so well. I got to get down here because you got to really realize <laughs> where it's sitting. Like oh, it's low. Yeah. It's low. It's amazing. And this is the cool part here. That makes it a little more usable. <laughs> the whole thing is the cool part, but this Whoa, is the yeah. coolest part. Oh yeah. Another LS1. That's what I was saying about having the covers. Yep. Doesn't that look sharp, eh? You can still see the intake runners, but you get, you get the wow factor out of it. Yeah. Amazing. So we got to get this one done and then we're going to finish polishing on it and yeah, just get it done. We got to get some test miles on it though. Yep. It's, we make sure. it's a car that was built and never really driven, right? Exactly. In fact, there's a handful of those in the shop today because that's where they all, what they've all, what's all happened with them. They were built yeah. for shows, right? They were built they to show off really and driven, never so really wanna, driven. We want to drive them. We want to make sure that they're going to be good. That's fantastic. So, but I'll have some pictures of that with the top up and with the top halfway up so people can see how it all works. Very cool. I mean, the style of this is just out of this world. Going down the road, it looks pretty oh. cool. Am I wrong to think though that it, kind of looks like a prowler it kind of looks like a, pr it's got the, a prowler it's got the front end like this this yeah. part has that kind of look to it yeah i bet you that like when they built the prowler they kind of were looking at something like this as a bit Similar. of an inspiration right well we had a 37 ford in here that's the one uh it was black it was in the front showroom that's what just got sold to bear jackson in vegas a few weeks ago and the same front end so that's true although this is a fiberglass kit car um well, not kid car, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Um, but it's based on the 37. They just made it a little bit better. Mm -hmm. More user-friendly with the top and how it all works. Check it all out, rodshotrods.ca. Very cool. Very cool. This <laughs> next one is kind of a special one. We haven't spent too much time with it yet. I think it's pretty wicked cool. Maybe you saw it in the background. It's but the first one that I've ever had at the shop too. Now, okay. here's the thing. We got the keys in the, on the console, so that's good. Because there's some fun stuff we got to show off with this car. We haven't even tested it yet, so hopefully it all hopefully works. Hopefully it all works. But look at this. And you think, Mustang? Nope. It's a Cougar. 60 what? 68. So a couple of fun facts about this car. 68 Cougar XR7. Now this is an original 40,000 mile original car. Came up from California. It's documented 40,000 miles. We have the list of all the owners, everything that's been done to the car. This car, as it's noted in all the paperwork, 99% original, including the original paint is still in the car. 
the original interior, original powertrain, original wheels. We have the Marty report. We have the original bill of sale from California. We have the original build sheet. Wow. It's a very well documented car. This car is actually blue. It looks white. I know in the pictures. Yeah, the it's, it comes off a little bit white in the video, but it is kind of a robin egg, a light robin egg blue. It's almost white. It's almost so, white. Yeah. So it's an interesting color combination with the black top, the very light bl powder blue, if with you want to call interior. it that. And then this sort of, yeah, white interior, white in quotations, the sort of, I'd call it cream, you know, but that's probably what they called white. But look at that, it has, it's leather, and it is the original interior. Mm -hmm. And I gotta get in here, because this is way too cool. Look at the lights still work. Secondly, it's an air-conditioned car. Factory AC. Factory AC, that's what these sliders do. I can hear the, the uh, actuators. actuators moving already. Factory tack, overhead console. All right, let's get right in here. Look at that, on the right, tachometer built in. Full gauges. We've got, yep, console right up here. Belts, door, park, fuel, some lights. And the accessory switches for the extra light package that you got in this, mm -hmm. right? Like that, those were all add-ons. The clock is still down here. I'll have a picture of the actual Marty uh, online so people can see all the options. This is one of 22 cars ever built with this, with this color. That's the thing, one of 22. One of 22 built with this color. And then how many of them are left? Well, yeah, exactly. Right? And, and how many of them are left looks like this? It's not restored. It's not restored. I mean, this is probably one of, I don't know. Everybody goes, yeah. oh, it's one of one. But seriously, how I mean, many would be around right. of this can, color? Let's see if we can start it up. So let's see if we can get it. All right, give me a left signal, Rod. That's the best part right there. Sequential. Boy, it runs good too. And. Look at that. All right on. <laughs> it's neat on the, on the uh, up on top here. It shows you when your blinkers are on and when. Oh, look at that. A part. I don't know, it's got lights up here, it shows you. That's really cool. The door's open. Wow. Seat belts. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Phenomenal. These were always like the the luxury Mustang, you know. Is, is he here with the door closed? I know. That's like, crazy. that's not got worn out bushings in it, that's. Oh, underneath the hood. Oh yeah. I guess we should. myself for this one. Guess we should look at this. Uh oh. <laughs> That's pretty tidy. That is tidy. 302, two barrel. Two barrel. Yeah. You know? <laughs> That's like got the right, you know, hose clamps. That's got everything done. And I shouldn't say done. I mean, it's, it's, it's original. original. There's I imagine obviously like, been maintenance done. Yeah, I mean, like you, you can't have a, expect a hose to last that long, but they've done it with the right parts and pieces yeah. to make it. So it's as original as original gets when you have a car that's that old. And every that, part that's been bought is documented in the paperwork. Really? Uh, yes. And it says the, the mileage and everything, right? Wow. That is A, phenomenal, and B, going to make somebody super happy because what a cool car. The paint looks like cool it's just car. been painted. It's so shiny. It is. It, I, I, it's, look at the reflection on it. Look at the, yeah. and it's not. That's, that's, that's the original. original paint. By the way, that's the top for the uh, yellow Roadster on the front. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, okay, and I do see that it. it's it's blue on the outside. Very it, cool. It, that will fold up, I guess, if you spend enough time to figure it out. But <laughs> where are we going yet. from here? We got a couple more, don't we? No, just one more, don't just we? Just one more? Rod's checking his list. I think we got one more. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we got one more. Okay. Okay, I don't say this very often. This one, next one, might be temporarily not for sale. What? This might go to my own personal collection. Wait, hang on. There's a sign like over there and it says, they're all keepers till they sell. Mm -hmm. And this one might actually be a keeper. Well, you don't come across this kind of stuff very often. I just, and I drove it. Again, this is a brand new build with zero miles. It wasn't even put into gear. It's brand new. 
Um, well, maybe put it into gear, but it was never had never driven. Well, let's put it this way. We'll give it. We'll we'll preview it. The stickers are still on the tires. That's how new. That's how little it's been driven. And it didn't even run. Like, it wasn't running when it got here. It's that new. Like it's just new, new, new. So now we got it running, and uh, we're getting some test miles on it. And now we've got to customize a little bit more, but here it is. <laughs> 32 Ford High Boy. This is a steel car. This is the, this is the steel one. This is the steel car. So, unlike the other 32s, which but are. There's nothing wrong with No, the nothing at all. Nothing but at all. There's nothing wrong with a steel car. Meaning, though, and in my head, this is where it goes to. This is actually a car that rolled down the road in 1932, 33, 34. Well, kind of half. So, this is, this is not. Henry Ford steel. This is Brookville steel. Oh, okay, okay, but okay. It's still a steel body. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Building a thirty-two steel body is different than a fiberglass. No right? kidding. So, Look um, at this. But so what we have to do with the build, we have to go in wet sand, or we might wind up re-clearing the whole car. Yep. Because what we're planning on, you guys probably noticed the yellow firewall, right? Yeah. I was let's, like, let's take it or leave it on the firewall. I'm like, oh, God. Well, and I sort of yellow. looked at it and went like, oh. well, they got a red interior. Why'd they paint the uh, firewall yeah. yellow? Like, what, what sense does that make? But okay. So, 212 might be involved in this. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, starting here, we're going to do the whole, that's the plan. Starting with the bright yellow, we're going to flame the whole side of the car. And the flames will go all the way back right down to the tip. <laughs> awesome. So, we have to sand the car down to do that. So, we might wind up just re-clearing the whole car. Yep after we get the flames done, then the firewall might make a little more sense with the flames on it. Which maybe that was the plan. Well, that's what, I think that's what his plan was. Right, that might have been the idea. But look at this, we actually have a Ford badge here and a Ford badge here. Oddly enough, three out of our four 32s have Ford power. Which was never the way they were hot rotted, right? That's one of the reasons why I love this so much. It's got a 351, 671 blower, the thing runs now it runs like really really well look at the belt on it we have a nice new uh air cleaner for it oh okay uh hildebrand style air, air cleaner like so it's all one piece and here's that drop you know uh that's the yes axle you're ta well, the talking axle, about yeah sorry right yeah that's your typical dropped axle that's right but uh, oddly this thing drives pretty good well what i couldn't get over is the smell in here too is incredible. This interior is amazing. And notice it's a five speed. Yes, there's three pedals. But the interior is very, very nice in this car. <sighs> the back window rolls down too, which is cool. I wish you guys had smell o vision when you're watching this video. <laughs> scratch like, and sniff. Yeah, scratch and sniff. It's just, oh, the, the scent of the leather and it's so nice and soft. And then this windshield rolls out too, right? So. Oh, does it? Yeah. Wow. So it's, I just love the package. I like the blower. Everyone knows I like blowers. Well, sure. And it's just got the old school vibe. You add the flames on it. The white walls are on it already. Yeah, it's just. And the right wheels. Did you notice the, uh, the oil filter? I did. Canister on the firewall? What That's about as old school as you can get. <laughs> Look at that. Hildebrandt. Common Very problem cool. with the Fords doing this. Your, your oil filter would have came right at the front. Yep. Which right where, that's where your, where your uh, steering is. So oh, yeah, okay. It's got the remote lines that come up here and that's your old school uh, oil filter canister. Very cool. I like all of it, you know? I like how they did it. I like that it's metal. I like even these little the guys lights. Yeah, that's old here and just the little mirrors. It's, yeah. it's done really well. 40 Ford steering wheel. Just little, if you keep looking, you see lots you of keep, see, see the little details, yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Now I see. Forty well, Ford like a, steering a, wheel. A smaller version, but it's the but it's replica of forty four. Exactly. Exactly. Even the gauges are nicely done, and they have that you know bright work around them. Man. Yeah, that's a just and then like we'll drop the exhaust, get it all ceramic coated so it matches the top. Just, yep. I'm gonna we're gonna spend a little extra time on this one. This is the this is your baby, is it? I like I like driving it for the, my first run, so I'm gonna get some more miles on it. And nice. Okay, now there's a whole bunch more we haven't uh, seen. We're trying to make the list here. So, oh, 
uh, offsite still coming. On uh, Friday, we have a 65 Cheval SS coming. Wow, okay. We have a 78 F250 4x4 coming with a 429 in it. Oh, wow. Uh, across the street, we got a pretty cool 92 Chevy short box step side. Yeah, you're like, that's it's okay. LS powered, yep. the side mount Whipple supercharger. <laughs> that just made it cool. Yeah, no doubt. Um, <laughs> this one, I've always had a love for these and I just had a weak moment last week. I bought a, an 03 Hummer H1. <laughs> <laughs> As if you didn't have, you know, enough, you, you barely have enough space to put a regular car yeah. in here. You bought the biggest vehicle on the planet. So I drove this thing home, I didn't tell my wife. And then I drove it home. She didn't say anything, but she walked by. I could just tell by the look. She, like, what are you doing? <laughs> it's super cool, though. Um, 40 Ford Pro Street. I have that at my house. Yeah. I drove that to the Radisson Car Show on Sunday. Beautiful. I do make it to some of the shows, by the way. <laughs> uh, 29 Dodge, five window, all steel. Across the street, we're doing drop spindles, new steering wheel stuff. So Alex is working on that across the street. 80 Corvette, there again. Um, nice car, and uh, bang for the buck, they're they're pretty good. Yeah, no doubt. So that's going through a check. We're we're going through that car, so that'll it'll have its uh, um, its checklist done. Ninety eight Chev. I know we talked about this one once before, but we got it back out. Um, it's a black extended cab, third door. I don't know if we, we might know, have maybe, done that one. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Wayne, our main our main guy, Wayne's driving it tonight. He kind of he's got a shining for that one. So ah, okay. We'll see. Oh, what else? Oh, another 32 Ford. Another, another one. one, yeah. It looks more like the one in the front, the black, it's got fenders. It's a Ford and a Ford, it's a 302, four speed automatic, and it's red. Oh, black right on. Black leather interior and it's red. You know, that one and the black one, maybe you're gonna have to put side by side. Yeah. The so you said it's red with a black leather interior and the one in the front is black, black with, with a red, red leather interior. And they're both fenders and nice. same kind of build. That's fantastic. Um, we added a new trailer to our fleet today. Sharp is just getting, uh, it'll be deckled. And we got a new shop truck coming. I'll, I'll save until we actually have it here, but. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be a it's nice gonna surprise be cool. too. Yeah, it'll be kind of cool. And then we've, yeah, we've sold lots in last week, but it's been a good week. Wow. Um, extra work because you had the week off, so. I guess so, that's why this video is. Extra long. Darn near half an hour long. We appreciate you watching us, thanks a lot. Well, it's a good thing we didn't have the other eight cars that we've done <laughs> we, here. We'd be here for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, if you see something you like, you know, out of this cool showroom, there's more than the what meets the eye because there's so many more cars than there is room for here. They're all over the place. That's all right. Go One to Rod's. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt. I just, we just signed the deal today with uh, Rock 102. We'll be doing our second annual uh, show here, cruise weekend on the Saturday. We have Shaq be live on location again. Uh, lots of prizes. I'm going to talk to the guys about pinstriping. It'll be awesome. Fantastic. I'll be here too. If you'll have me. Well, we'll have what went through the live Facebook again. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, you see something you like, go to rodshotrods.ca and we'll catch you next time on Hot Rod Hangout.